Ford. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment. Is the Minister aware that the world's biggest carbon tax is costing Tees Australia $5 million a year in extra energy and emissions costs? And what is standing in the way of abolishing this tax immediately? I call the Honourable the Minister for the Environment. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And, uh, I am delighted to take this question from the member for Ford, not just because he campaigned for lower electricity prices at the last election, not just because he and his wife Judy have been tremendously successful small business people, but in particular because the member for Ford was the man who beat Peter Beattie. <laughs> However, that is probably the reason why we do have him as Leader of the Opposition. But the question asks, the question asks why, uh, who, is standing in the way, who is standing in the way of removing the carbon tax and lower electricity prices? And lo and behold, it's the same Leader of the Opposition. Right this moment, his senators are on strike. They are doing what he knows best. He's called them out on strike. There is a picket of the Senate voting box. We are going through this agonising process of speech after speech, repetition after repetition, of senators from the ALP under instructions from the Leader of the Opposition not to allow the carbon tax the to be repealed. Well, we will assist. keep going. Let me say this to the Leader of the Opposition. We will keep going for as, as long as it takes this parliament until the carbon tax the is repealed. His senators are doing everything they can to avoid a vote, to avoid the decision, to avoid the pledge that, as the Treasurer says, was made exactly a year ago today. But in the meantime, it is costing Australian businesses real money. The case of Tease was, was raised by the member for Ford. Now, Tease is one of Australia's most successful and largest meat processors. It has a carbon tax bill of approximately $5 million a year in direct costs, in electricity costs, in gas costs, in water costs and in refrigerant costs. And that can all end today. It can end immediately. But for it to end, the Leader of the Opposition has to call his senators back to work allow them to vote, allow them to make the decision that the Australian people expect, and allow them to make the decision upon which they can, uh, campaigned for at the last election. And let me make this point. Let me make this point. We have done a little bit more research, and lo and behold, lo and behold, a fact sheet put be silence out on my the member for McMahon a year ago today. And what does that fact sheet show? For a small business, a $9,000 saving if they have a 500 megawatt electricity a year bill, $9,000 a year they could save. For a synthetic greenhouse gases and refrigerants, a 75 per cent reduction in cost. Real the savings. Time the has expired. Mr. Resume, you seat.